Though the dead are decomposing Though my flesh and hair are thin Though my eyesight is fading Though the planet is decaying Though the haters don't stop hating Though the Gulf Coast is flooding Though the news is always troubling Though the headlines are befuddling Though our times disintegrating Though our days are dissipating Though my friends all keep moving Though the city keeps on changing Though the roses are drying Though the orchid petals are falling My love for you is undying 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 Watching a fight the other night On Valencia Street with you At the burger joint A guy from Nebraska Against a guy from Namibia A woman was outside on the curb crying Two men were consoling her by her side Two men were consoling her by her side We walked out and asked if everyone was alright They said we're okay, thank you for asking You two have a good night I went and sang some songs at the chapel With some interesting other singers Like Black Dahlia from the Dwarves And the classy Bart Davenport When I finished singing my songs A girl approached me and said, hey I said, you look familiar, how do I know you? She said, you don't know me, my name is Vivian And I really enjoyed your singing I said, thank you, and I shook her hand She said, I've listened to your music More than I ever slept I had no reply to that Then she nodded to her friend Then I reached for your hand And she smiled and she laughed Though I dehydrate quickly when I'm leaf raking Though I'm falling asleep less than I'm waking Though my guitar tuners are oxidizing Though with age I'm prioritizing My work load my socializing What used to be nothing I'm realizing Is now all getting more tiring Though May weather is retiring Though my old lamps need rewiring Though my testosterone is expiring Though movie directors are no longer calling My ears were ringing so I went and met you For dinner at the Big Four As we got to walk out the door A woman said, hey mister, you dropped your wallet on the floor My jacket hit a glass It fell to the floor and it crashed Everybody looked at us startled As if our names were James and Bartles I said, hey, it's a tight space So spare me your pity coming from your face Lifted faces 
news This could have happened to each and every one of you too The waiter hurried over Said we're gonna have to ask you to leave, sir I said, hey, I was leaving Anyhow, that's the last time you're ever gonna see a bad guy like this, that's for sure Thank you, Antonio Montana From a prison in Havana From a boat across the Atlantic To a mansion in Miami Though these words may need refining Though I much prefer reclining Backstage and out front autograph signing Though I prefer infrequent flying Though for perfection I've stopped trying My love for you is undying 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 During our long summer staycation, we attended a relative's cremation. Her bereaved husband sat there trembling with his cane. Our hearts were broken. Her picture was so youthful and so beautiful. Everyone was mournful and tearful. Then his grandchildren walked him to the car at the end of the lawn. Flowers were waiting. Though so many there were grieving There was no doubt and no denying Of a love undying Of an undying love Some may find my specifying Agonizing and trying Long-winded and unsatisfying Others may find it hypnotizing Comforting and inspiring Relatable and consoling I went to the bookstore the other day The counter girl there was scratching at her hand She said she thought that it was itchy Because of all the cash that she'd been handling I said it could be that Or depending On where you've been it also might be bad bar And she looked at me with surprise And star struck eyes She asked are you like the real Like the actual Mark Koslick I said Yes, I am that man She said, oh my God, I'm a really, really big fan Then she said, we should totally go to Panera I replied, there's Panera Bread in San Francisco She said, no, there's not a Panera Bread in San Francisco And even if there was, I'd never meet you there anyhow Then someone said, actually, there is a Panera Bread in San Francisco On Geary and Masonic And she said, I was just kidding anyhow And then suddenly there was an awkward silence At first I thought she was the nicest Then suddenly she seemed cold as ice And the 
just didn't sit well on my midlife crisis Then her boss came over and threw a wet blanket on the good vibes He said, sir, can I ask you, are you even planning to buy a book? I said, well, I was, but the store smells like an old barn full of old Amish musty quilts. He said, that'll be enough of that language, sir. I said, okay, but I came in here well-intentioned, and that means spirited counter girl of yours. Totally hurt my feelings. He asked, what had she done that I found so demeaning? Said she engaged me and then for no reason at all venomously stung me. He said, I think you might be overanalyzing, that you're exaggerating or bold faced lying. I said, No, I'm not dramatizing, fictionalizing, or even slightly modifying. He said, I think your brain may need rewiring. I said, I think the two of you are co conspiring. Then they laughed and they looked down at their phones Then I walked out the door and was on my way home Then as I walked along the road, my mind hypothesizing What could have went so wrong in this liberal vegan bookstore specializing Charles Bukowski, but doesn't carry the new Mike Tyson biography. Then a sort of happiness overcame me as I began realizing that for a connection I'll never stop trying, even if it results in my eyes crying. When I stop caring is when I'm dead inside. My heart was now reviving My lips were now smiling Then these words I began compiling And a melody started forming 